And I'm back! Okay, as I was saying, we got the Stanima blocks. I really liked those things. I really liked the Stanima blocks. Only because the more you have, the more badass melee shit you can do. The shit I didn't like... Was really like the story. It made like no... Goddamn sense. Was it, was, it, was it the Secretary of Defense? I think. Spoilers, whoever hasn't played it, but... Whatever, it's Resident Evil 6. Um... I think it was the Secretary of Defense, I think, was the main bad guy of it. That that guy did not want to stay dead either at the end. My god, that pissed me off many times. You had to, like, shoot that guy and kill him. And then, um... Uh, what else? Um, Christmas part, I thought, wasn't that bad. Where you had to, like, where you, like his buddy plays as the freaking, like, tyrant you play. You actually play as, like, the tyrant guy infected. That's actually pretty cool where you, you help Chris. Um, what else? Um, I didn't... I, I honestly didn't like the over-the-top action in it. Like, it was it was too action-y for Resident Evil. It was too much action for it. Like, it did, didn't feel like survival. It just felt like pick up Ebo, punch, and shoot everything. But another thing I also hated, too, a lot was... Um, uh, how the enemies morphed. Yes, it was, it was based off of if you shoot something, they become immune to it, they evolve, they mutate, and they become immune to, like, the ammo you're using on them, or, like, the part that you shot off turns into, like, a stronger thing, a stronger part of its body, or it becomes, like, a shield or something. I really didn't like that C-Vire shit. That shit pissed me off so much. I just... It, it really pissed me off. Yes, it gave, like, enemies an advantage and all that. It made it tougher, but still, I really kind of hate how they just, how it was. It, like, like, I don't know if it was, like, done differently or somehow better. I don't know how to explain it, but it was, it's just, it was too action-y. They want you to, like, shoot and destroy everything, and they want you to go just guns blazing, just so the enemies can freaking just kill the shit out of you later because you're using, like, the wrong ammo or something, or they're, they've, uh, they become immune to your shots, so you have to use something else or some other mechanic. Like, I know the ones that, like, you shoot, they, like, create armor or shields. I really hated those ones. I didn't remember if there was... God, there was one, like, you would, like, shoot it. It would, like, blow off its piece, and then, like, another stronger piece would come out of it. I was like, what the hell? Like, it it was... It was all right, but I don't know. There's, there's just... Something about the overall atmosphere of Resident Evil 6 that I just did not like. Like, I literally played through all the campaigns, all four, just to play, just to see the story. And I was like, okay, I'm done. I didn't even do any extra shit in the game. I played it on, I think, normal, I think. No, actually, no, I think I played it on easy, just so I can get through it. Because I was just not having fun with it. It was weird. Maybe with another person, I have a little bit more fun, but... I don't know, it just, it just didn't seem, it just didn't seem good. Just, I don't know. I didn't like Resident Evil 6. Like I said, I literally pushed myself through the game. And let's say some things just didn't make sense, like the freaking, what the hell is her god name? The freaking Leon's partner. See, I don't, I don't remember the freaking names of like everyone in the game. I just know that Leon's partner... She has, like, a sister who's, whatever, spoilers, the boss of, like, his campaign, like, near the beginning. And it makes no really goddamn sense why the bad guy, why the Secretary of Defense just decided to freaking make her turn into a bioweapon. And you fight her and kill her. And you want to feel sad for the sister that's your partner. But you just kind of just don't give a shit because it's just thrown at you and there's, like, really no reason. It was just, like... Hey, she's doing it because her sister was captured. Yay, and now she's dead. Great. Also, being chased by a giant fish shark thing down a freaking water tube that's ridiculously long. Honestly, that didn't make any sense to me. I, I have no idea how that map layout worked at all. Like, in real life. I was like, what the fuck? Seriously, I was thinking, I was like sliding down, and I was like, I'm killing this giant fish. Where the fuck am I going and where the hell is this in the planet? Like, I was literally thinking that too. I was like, what the f- I- it didn't make any sense. 
special things and then typefaces. But this game, Ravens Evil 7, I like this game. I actually like it just as much as I like, say, number four. Because four, four was actually pretty balanced. Like, yeah, it was hard at times, but it also wasn't too cheap. You, you, you could actually figure out how to do stuff in it. I like the puzzles in this game, too. I like that they brought back some puzzles and stuff, too. Sunday, June 2014. What? Which can be purchased or raised. It's, in this case, its purpose is mild control. Up to, there was, like, talk about selling Evelyn in the E-Series. Oh, there's a phone ringing. Yeah. You can pick it up. Wait. The phone was ringing. I just got that. That means Mia's alive or something? Oh shit. I don't know if I skipped a cutscene or something because I pressed X because I thought I was supposed to press something. I found. Dang, almost found all the coins. Mr. Uh, oh, he had the things. Restart. I basically died 26 times. 11 hours on normal. 93 box open. You know, the items. Stabilizers used. Steroids used. Uh, it sounds like they want me to beat the game without freaking doing anything. Alright, difficulty. Madhouse. Weapon. Albert O1R will be added to the item box in the main game. Secrets of Defense will be added to the item box. Hmm, okay. Secrets of Defense. Well, that is Resident Evil 7, everybody. But, I have all the freaking shit for this game, too. Yeah, I have all the extra content and more shit. Uh, um, go to PlayStation Store? No. All right. Extra content. New content has been added. This content is best played after completing the main game. Yes, makes sense. Oh, yeah, the band footage stuff. There's like a bunch of these, right? Oh shit. Nope, nope, I don't I don't want to start this. I didn't know. Uh, no. Okay. Sprint's the beginning of the Baker Church story. Play a sadistic card game. Escape from crime using only your wrists. Survive until morning using guns, traps, and skills. Ooh, that one sounds tough. Extra content. Yes. Okay, we got not a hero. Secured as evidence from the Baker Farm, these videotapes never saw the light until today. They reveal some of the tragedies suffered of the Baker's prisoners. Oh, yeah, all the people they took. Like, was it the 13 people in total? Not a hero. Christmas story. Ethan struggles over, but there's still one last mess to clean up. And the job falls to Chris Richard in the fight against bioterrorism. Okay. End of Zoe. Weeks after not a hero, a new danger has emerged. Jack's brother. What? Joe Baker must face this danger with his bare fists and put an end to his fitness every once and for all. Ooh. Okay. It's Jack's birthday, but he's not interested in presents. It's food he wants to find. So find some for him as fast as you can. Okay, it's your game. Ethan must die. Ethan will wish he had his mommy as you lead him into the, his death over and over again in this ultra high difficulty mini game. Uh, devil may cry. Well then. Hmm. Okay. I will do this at a later time. But I really do want to do this extra content and record it, so I will leave it here. I also mess with how the heck that those new items work too. Actually, let's try it right now. New game. We'll hit you with all we've got. You know what? We'll take it easy on you. Just your average difficulty. Fuck it, easy. Whoa, 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 what just happened? Hey, oh, baby. You, oh, you can't skip it. I just wanted to send a quick hello, and I love you. Oh, good news. I'm going to be coming home soon. Yay! Oh. 
I cannot wait to be done with this babysitting job and come home to my loving husband. I miss you. I just realized, I think she's on the boat in the background. Yeah. I wonder why they won't let you skip it. Oh, this is her. Yep. All right, Maria from the beginning. You were right. I did lie to you. I shouldn't have. All I can say is that if you get this, stay away. away. She's on the boat right now. Well, at that point, she is. Everything makes sense now. Boy, I wish you can skip cutscenes. There's definitely something I wish I could do. Hey, it's, uh, it's Ethan. Oh, hey. You all right? You just disappeared the other night. Yeah, friend. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's Mia. She's not dead. She's alive. She, she's back. They found her? How? What happened? I don't know. Look, I don't know how, but she's back. She's back somehow. Maybe it's a prank. She wants me to come and get her. Where is she? Dolby. Dolby, Louisiana. I know, I know. <laughs> what if it is her? I have to find out what happened. Hmm. This is the place. Well, I feel like I'm like moving faster. I wonder. Join us. Hmm. Like I say, I'm curious. Birds! Birds! I actually saw that movie. That movie was freaking crazy. They never explained what exactly made the birds go crazy in that movie, too. Anyways, yeah, 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 it's closed. I got it. Anyways, I'll figure out what I've unlocked and all that later. So, I'll see you guys all in the next game. Y'all have a good one.